Welcome Ridge Life, I'm Tim, and today on Ridge Life, we are going to breed our meat rabbits. We have Texas A&M University Kingman rabbits. Uh, we call them Tamex. Um, we've got three. We've got a buck and two doe. That's our breeding pairs. And um, Peppa, she is white and gray. Frosty, he's solid white. And Cupcake, she is a chocolatey brown. I don't know the exact names for those rabbit colors. There's some detailed names that uh, really the people who are real into those type of things have. I don't know those, but I just know they're beautiful rabbits. So we're going to let you introduce today to Peppa first. She's again the gray and white. We'll bring you over to her hutch here, and here she is. She is a beautiful gray and white, Texas A&M. You saw Frosty right next to her. So here's Frosty. You can see Frosty's a beautiful white rabbit. Now we'll get you on over to Cupcake. Cupcake is a beautiful chocolatey brown. Come here, girl, look at you. Look at you, aren't you just the cutest thing here? <laughs> Look at Frosty, he says, come on, baby, get me over here. You look at her, isn't she pretty? Oh yeah, such a gorgeous rabbit. So, we will bring her over to him, the, the doe to the buck. The does are very territorial, yes. They will defend their territory even with their bucks that they wanna mate with. And uh, so we're gonna bring her over to him and uh, we want them to have four or five successful fall-offs. Fall-offs is whenever the, the buck does his thing and it successfully completes, he actually paralyzes for a second and falls off the doe. You think I'm kidding, but you're, you're gonna see for yourself. So we wanna have four or five successful fall-offs to, to, to in, ensure the breeding process takes place. Again, we will bring Cupcake over to Frosty and see how that goes.
Frosty, you did your job well. Four to five successful fall-offs. Actually, had five successful fall-offs. Um, wasn't too sure about one, but I think we got at least five really good opportunities for breeding here. So good job there, buddy. He is such a good... See, and you guys might notice how much smaller the bucks are than the does. The does, cupcake is so big. Now, if they get too fat, they can't breed. So you don't want to let your, your does get too fat, but you can see the uh, buck is a smaller than the doe. But, guy, you did your job, buddy. You did a really good job, and I'm very, very proud of you. Um, we're going to let Cupcake uh, kindle. Kindle means have her kits. Kits are baby rabbits. Um, I expect eight to ten. Um, she's had a couple. Um, so eight to ten, maybe up to twelve. Not really sure. Eight to ten would be uh, successful for us. <laughs> So we will uh, monitor her over the next 28 days, right at 30, 31 days. She'll probably pop out her kits. Uh, they are very, very routine, I mean, precise on their gestation periods for these rabbits uh, on, on, the, on the kindling. So pretty amazing how this works. We will um, monitor her and at the right time, get her nesting box in. We'll show you all how that works. And she'll start nesting and getting ready to have her kits. And then she'll have them. And then as they grow up, we'll move them over to the Taj Mahal. You guys have seen that before, but uh, super exciting processes here on our Ridge Rabbitry. And uh, I can't wait to show you more. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to Ridge Life, take the time to do so now. Hit the notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out. And as always, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day and go Ridge Life.